Republican Senator Joni Ernst and her Democratic challenger Teresa Greenfield faced off tonight on KCCI, pitching voters on why they should be the one to represent Iowans in Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us for a special hour-long edition of KCCI 8 News at 10. KCCI's Chris Gothier is live with us tonight with a debate wrap-up. Steve and Stacey, despite some early bumps, both candidates were able to cover a lot of ground tonight on policy issues. Tonight's virtual debate was the last in one of the most expensive and closely watched U.S. Senate races in history. Thursday marked the third and final debate in the race for one of Iowa's U.S. Senate seats. The second most expensive Senate race in history could affect the balance of power in Washington. Incumbent Republican Senator Joni Ernst faced off against Democratic challenger Teresa Greenfield. The COVID-19 pandemic has defined 2020 and the 2020 economy. We asked the candidates about stimulus help for Iowans. PPP was a project that I worked on. Child care supports to make sure that moms and dads can get back to work safely has been very, very important. Providing PPE to those uh, businesses and those hospitals that needed that support. I have been calling for a phase four stimulus package for months, and we have to focus on health and safety, you bet. But to your point, workers, uh, we are in a crisis right now. We need to extend those expanded unemployment benefits. The pandemic has also helped keep health care top of mind. The candidates weighed in on what they would do with the Affordable Care Act. What I support is uh, uh, expanding and strengthening the Affordable Care Act. We've got a lot of tools in our toolbox and then creating a public option that will create competition in the marketplace, level that playing field and make sure that every Iowan has access to high quality affordable coverage. The public option that my opponent supports is uh, just just really a truck stop on the way to on the road to a single payer system or government takeover of health care. That public option, as done by a third party independent study, could bankrupt up to 52 of our rural health care systems. Now, both candidates were also asked tonight whether they believe there is systemic racism in this country. They were also asked what positions of their parties that they disagree with, as well as their positions on trade. You'll hear their answers ahead on this special hour-long edition of KCCI 8 News at 10. But live downtown, Chris Gopner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.